everybody, good morning. Welcome to our human sexuality uh, live stream where we are in week number six and it is September 21st. We are getting to the end of the month. Uh, I see a lot of you joining me, getting your names in the chat. That's fantastic. Thank you so much for being on here with me. Uh, can you hear me and see me okay? Hopefully all of you can uh, hear and see me just fine. You can't hear me, okay. All good for you. You can hear. Okay, Tracy, you might try logging out and coming back in um, if you can't hear me. Everyone else can hear me all right. Maybe give a couple more people. Let me know. Can you hear and uh, see me okay? Just double check here. Okay, uh, so several of you saying you can hear me fine. So hopefully it is just a, like a computer internet thing. Uh, for, for Tracy who was having a hard time. But uh, I hope everyone is doing well, hanging in there, having a, having a good week so far. I know it's only a Tuesday, but still, I hope everyone's doing well. We had some uh, great football games. I'm so excited. Okay, good, Tracy, I'm glad you can hear me. I'm so excited. I know it has absolutely nothing to do with anything, that, uh, but I'm going to the, the Rams-Bucks game this Sunday, and I, I just like absolutely cannot wait. Uh, I've been to two football games in person, but uh, SoFi looks so beautiful, and I cannot wait to go. So I'm, I'm very, very excited for football. If you are watching the Rams Bucks games, you can think of me uh, this weekend. Thank you. Um, I will be there with a lot of people, which makes me a little nervous. But uh, you know, I have my my Tom Brady jersey and my Tom Brady mask and my Tom Brady everything, and I'm ready to go. <laughs> so uh, hopefully, it will be a lot of fun. Though I have heard that the food. Is very disappointing there, so I will just have to eat something fun and exciting before before I go. So um, anyway, uh, that's my my very exciting fun news for the week. I hope all of you, I hope all of you are having a good week and uh, hanging in there. It's going to be hot today, but then hopefully it will cool down again after that. Uh, it definitely is almost October, right? It's starting to feel a lot like like fall so um hang in there i hope you're all doing well and um taking care of yourselves yes um i saw your email and i will definitely get back to you um today right so uh, lots of emails but i will try and get back to you today as well okay so um let's see what was i going to say so our usual kind of plan uh for today we will look a little bit at last week i want to talk a little bit about uh the discussion and then the exam that we had our first test last week and a lot of you did so well on it which makes me very very happy um, but yes I want to talk a little bit about both of those things then we'll look at what we have going on for this week of course I will give you the uh, twitch extra credit question and make sure that you have that so that you can get those two points and then I'll see if anyone has any any questions or anything uh, for me so let's go ahead and head over to canvas together and uh, as I said we're in week number six we are officially a third of the way through the semester. It's just going so fast. Um, I'm ready for it to slow down just a little bit, but that's okay. Uh, we will keep on going through the semester um, as we progress here. So last week was week number five, and I just want to take a couple of minutes to talk about it, um, especially since we had our first exam, and I think that's a really great opportunity to kind of evaluate um, how you're doing and if the things you are doing are working. So last week was uh, the topic of male sexual anatomy and the last topic of unit number one. Um, our discussion for last week had to do with looking at slang uh, for male anatomy, looking at the pros and cons, and what you would do if you had a little boy in the future, would you have him um, circumcised, why or why not? And then uh, putting this into order, and most of you did a wonderful job. The only thing uh, that a lot of you messed up was switching G and H. Um, and so I put the correct order in the chat or in the comments if you if you missed it. But most of you were very close in this life of a, of a sperm cell activity. Um, the only thing I really saw a lot of was mixing up the letters G and H in that in that order. But otherwise, um, overall really nicely done. The biggest reason that people lost points wasn't the, the ordering of the sperm cell. It was actually number two. Uh, what I saw a lot of is people giving their opinion 
of whether or not they would have a baby boy circumcised, but then not providing advantages or disadvantages to support their decision. So uh, several of you I found myself saying I was looking for, you know, more of a, a reference to advantages and disadvantages, but for the most part, really nicely done. I feel like a lot of you are, are kind of very comfortable at this point in what I'm looking for in the discussions. Make sure, as always, that you're really elaborating, showing off your knowledge, showing me that you understand and can apply the materials, uh, but otherwise really well done, right? And uh, we move away from anatomy this week to um, orientation, but uh, again, for the most part, great job. Still some people not responding to a peer. I will continue to remind you every week uh, to respond to a classmate, which will get you those two points uh, of credit. So uh, don't forget to do that. That is a, an easy two points that you wanna make sure um, you can get. Okay, so um, let's see. Other things last week, um, we had our first exam, and I hope you feel like it was a pretty straightforward, clear test. Again, I wrote all the questions, um, none of them were from like a test bank, so they are very reflective of what we have covered. Um, I want to give you some statistics just so you can kind of see uh, where you fall in comparison to everyone else. And I sent this out last night in the email, but just to give it to you here, uh, the average score on the exam was an 88%. And so that is just shy of an A. That is a very high, strong B. A lot of you did so well. There were a lot of A's, a lot of B's on this test. And uh, that makes me so happy to see. Clearly a lot of you studied and prepared. Uh, there were some of you who seemed to run out of time uh, in the sense that a couple of your short answer questions weren't uh, answered. So make sure that you are watching the clock and leaving yourself plenty of time uh, for that, but for the most part, as I said, really well um, done here. Oops, sorry, I lost my connection here on my end. Here we go. Looks like everything's fine now. Uh, okay. Yeah, I know a lot of people get anxious knowing the clock is running. You know, exams are exams cause a lot of anxiety. I will tell you, I feel very anxious when I take exams as well. They're they're tough and they're worth a lot of points and and you wanna do well. So if you don't know uh, the answer to a question, biggest thing I su can suggest to you is skip it and come back to it. Uh, you know, and that way you are leaving yourself plenty of time. You don't wanna spend longer on a question than, than you need to. But a lot of you, as I said, did so well. Almost an A for the average is a very like strong average. Um, and I, what that means to me in my mind is that a lot of you did use the study guide and prepare. The average amount of time for the test was 63 minutes. So you had 75 to take the test. Most of you finished between about 55 and 65 minutes. Uh, so I always take a look at this just to see kind of where the classes are falling uh, in terms of timing and averages and range and so on. So 63 minutes was right about uh, what I saw for most of you. That was the average time. So uh, what that tells me again is a lot of you were prepared. You had plenty of time. If you find that you didn't have enough time, again, make sure you prepare a little more or maybe skip questions you don't know. The, the high score was 100. There were a couple of people who got 100%, which is amazing. The low score was a 51. So uh, we had a little bit of a range. You know, some people uh, did well uh, and got 100%. Some people kind of probably wish they had done a little bit better. But for the most part, I'm very happy with what, what I saw. And a lot of you should be very happy with your scores. What did I say was, uh, uh, where did you say you posted the correct order of the life of a sperm cell? So if you look at your discussion number five, um, if you look at your feedback, if you got it wrong, I posted the correct order um, in there for you. So if, if it was wrong, I posted it in your comments and feedback for your grade. Okay. And if you haven't been able to find your grades or feedback, remember I did make a video of that up here finding your grades and feedback. Um, if you don't see that, uh, you might go up and, and watch that really quickly. It's, it's a brief video, but it'll show you where to find it. So, no problem, Lauren, you're welcome, you're welcome. So um, a few other thoughts about the exam. Uh, this is something that I always encourage, and if you've heard this before, I'm sorry for, for the repeat, but uh, use the exam as a learning opportunity. I think this is a really good opportunity for you to stop and kind of evaluate how things are going for you in this class. If you got a score that you're happy with, 
clearly the things that you are doing are working, right? The way that you approach the reading and the lectures and your notes and your preparation worked for you and you should keep doing the same thing. And a lot of you are in that spot. So pats, pats on the back if you're uh, feeling good about that. Uh, if you wish that you had done a little bit better, now is a wonderful time to change that. Okay, so we are one third of the way through the semester. We have a, a ton of points left, two more exams. If you wish you had done a little bit better, now is a good time to change it up. Maybe start studying earlier or study differently. Uh, what you might consider doing is reviewing the, the terms for each chapter week by week, and then you can add a little bit more each week. So this week you could uh, focus on the terms from chapter 11, and then the following week you add the chapters we're covering then, and that might be something that helps you. If you didn't prepare with the study guide, uh, that really is something that you probably wanna do moving forward. So uh, now is a good time to just kind of evaluate. Take a second or two if you have some time and uh, just kind of think about where you're at. Are you happy with it? Do you need to change anything? And I would really encourage you to do that um, now as we move into the next unit. So we are ending unit one uh, and moving into the second part of our class, our second group of topics. Uh, and um, again, a great opportunity to kind of switch that up. And these Twitch Extra credits are worth two points every week. A lot of you are doing them. But if you haven't been doing them, uh, that is a great way for you to make up for a lower test score or a missed discussion. Uh, and that will really uh, take some pressure off of your grade. So be sure to do that as well. Someone said the study guide was super helpful. Great. I literally go through the exam and put the terms on the study guide if it's on the test. So uh, if you know everything on the study guide, you should be in wonderful shape. So I'm glad to hear that you thought the study guide was, was helpful. It's the exam without the questions. So that's fantastic. Those of you who prepared with it probably did quite well. So um, again, a lot of you, pats on the back, great job. Uh, and then we're moving forward, right? We are now in week number six. And so in this uh, next part of the semester, we'll look at sexual orientation. We'll look at chapters three, uh, chapter three next week, which is on communication. Chapter seven on love and intimacy. Chapters eight and nine, childhood, adolescent, and adult sexuality. Chapter 10 is um, sexual expression. So those are our topics for this next um, unit, this next part of the class. Uh, good, I'm glad you're enjoying, glad you're enjoying the class. It, way more fun in person, of course, but, uh, but we're trying to make the best of it. So I'm glad that you are enjoying the class and that the study guide was helpful for you. So this week, uh, we are looking at sexual orientation. So make sure that you read chapter 11 in the textbook. Um, and then of course, look at the slides that I have uh, posted for you. The topics that we'll look at this week, um, we'll look at what is orientation? What are some of the big um, orientations that we talk about? How do we measure it? How, what determines it? What are some attitudes, laws, and discrimination that might be unique to people who have uh, you know, a minority status as far, or as far as orientation goes? And then uh, a little bit specifically about bisexuality. So uh, those are the, some of the topics that we'll look at for, for this week. Um, I, of course, made a lecture video for you. So if you watch the chapter 11 um, video, I went through the slides and then there's a couple of video clips um, in there to highlight those topics. You can take notes on that or you can just watch it more than once if you need to. Uh, know it's always there for you if you want to go back and watch it. And then uh, discussion number six for this week, if you click on that, uh, the discussion is obviously related to orientation. So a couple of, uh, couple of different things that you will do here, and I hope you enjoy the opportunity to, to do these things. Um, number one, do you personally think that sexual orientation is a choice? Or do you think that people are born with their orientation already in place? Now, when we're saying orientation, we're saying whether you identify as heterosexual, homosexual, bisexual, asexual, or other, um, so do you think that is a choice or it's born, um, you're born with it in place? And in your explanation, I want you to reference at least one of the theories from the text to support your opinion. So I'm looking to see that you can link it to the different theories in the textbook and lecture um, in order to show me that you have uh, read and understood and can apply that information. The second thing that you will do is you'll listen to and watch the music videos for these three different songs. Now, if for some reason one of these links doesn't work, um, you can always look up the, the video on YouTube and that's fine. 
Um, but three songs, Leave Your Lover, Take Me to Church, and then Same Love. Um, and what I want you to do afterward for each song, so this should take you a little bit of time, is I want you to react to the songs, the lyrics, the video, as it relates to our chapter on orientation. And again, I'm looking to see that you can connect your thoughts and reactions to specific concepts or topics from the chapter uh, in order to receive full credit. So each one of these songs kind of has a slightly different take. One of them is a little more um, intense. One is a little bit more about like coming out and one of them a little bit more um, about attitudes and our culture. They all have a slightly different perspective. And so I'm looking to see that for each one of these, maybe you react to some specific lyrics in there, or it might be the video itself. That is what hits you and you comment on, uh, but link it to specific concepts and topics from the chapter to show off your understanding, comprehension, uh, and that you can apply it. Um, and I think it's always, I always think it's fun to listen to songs and songs are such great uh, opportunities to, uh, you know, think about the lyrics and what it means. And it can mean so many different things to different people. So I hope you enjoy the chance to listen to the songs and think about it. As a side note, if you ever, if you ever have a song or a video clip suggestion, please, please send it to me. Uh, you know, I am, I am out of touch with pop culture in, in the sense that I have little kids. And so it's like, everything is, is like Disney junior and little kid stuff. So, um, if you ever have a great example, please, by all means, send it to me, whether it's a song or a clip from a movie or a TV show, I would love, 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 um, you to send it to me. I think that would be fantastic. So, um, yeah, the take me to church video is, is hard. It's hard to watch, right? Um, and I think it's important, but it's definitely it's definitely uh, not the lightest, easiest thing to watch. So um, yeah, a little bit of a maybe trigger warning. You know, there there is some emotional and charged material in these videos, so um, definitely something uh, to keep in mind. Um, let's see. Are there any um, any other comments or, or questions or thoughts or anything for for the moment? Uh, any, any questions, thoughts, comments about this week? Or I forgot to ask you if you have any thoughts or comments about last week. So questions, thoughts, comments about anything <laughs> related, to, related to our material or what's due or any of that kind of stuff at the moment. While I'm waiting for that, let me give you a couple of uh, reminders here in the chat. Um, if you have any thoughts, this is a great chance to put them in there. Oh, um, I had typed this up. Uh, don't forget, I'm going to put this every week, right? Sorry, uh, I don't mean to be obnoxious. But uh, a lot of you, and I mean like literally half of you, if not more, uh, lost your subscription status over the last week or two. Um, and not a lot of you renewed it. So if you do have a moment, please go back and renew that free subscription with your Prime account. All you have to do is go to my channel, hit that purple pull down menu and hit resubscribe for free for 30 more days. Um, it really makes my life so much easier in tracking your attendance. Um, if you don't have that subscription, make sure you have put your first and last name at some point in the chat. Um, again, you don't have to do this, but it, it makes my life easier and it makes your life, uh, I think, smoother as far as this goes. So please, if you can, go ahead and do that for me. Um, you are still subscribed, Lauren. Um, you too, Cowbells. So see how you have, I don't know if you can see the chat on your end, but you both still have little crowns next to your name. Um, so if you see that, I don't know if it'll give me any information when I click on you. Um, no, not at the moment, but you do have, uh, both of you are still subscribed, so you don't have to worry about it uh, for now. Okay. Yep. You too. So uh, both of you. So if you notice that you don't have the little crown or that you're getting ads, ads drive me nuts. I think that's why I push for this. If you are, I don't have either, either of those, um, then you can go back and check. If you ever want to um, check, you can email me as well. I don't think it tells me on my end. Um, August 9th, previously subbed. Yeah, so it looks like uh, both of you maybe uh, don't have that. Let me show you one more time really quickly and then I can um, give you the other reminders. So if you are on Twitch, remember I can't show you on my account, so I have to show you on someone else's. So I'll go to my buddies, Sticker G. So funny. Okay, um, so if this were my account, for example, right? Um, 
<laughs> I love that they added that this is intended for mature audiences. I always use them as an example. And one time when I was using them, my friend Nikki was just like swearing up a storm. So <laughs> like, uh, yeah, I'm glad that that's not the case. So um, when you're on my channel, notice how there's this little purple bar. And if you hit the down arrow, it'll bring up um, it'll bring up an option. And I am subscribed to them through the 24th. So I can't, I can't show you how to click renew on that. Um, but when, when you are able to do that, so this tells me on the 24th, so I know that's my last day. Uh, and then when that's gone, I should be able to click on it. So hopefully next week I can show you um, what, it, what it looks like. Yeah. yeah, please do not ever pay for this. If it won't let you do it for free, then just don't do it. I would rather you do that than ever pay for it. It's not something you need to do. It just saves me time. And um, I think it makes your life easier too. So I'll show you next week what that looks like, but there should be an option down here uh, where you can resubscribe for free. But um, I don't wanna waste too much time on that, but um, it is there. So take a look at it if you can. And if it's too much to do, then it's okay. Um, that's totally fine. So um, a couple of uh, reminders, like I said here in the chat, our next Twitch live stream, excuse me, live stream, I can't spell. Um, will be on Tuesday next week. I can't believe that we're getting close to uh, October, the best month of the year, Tuesday the 28th. So Tuesday 9, 28 at 9.30, right? So that will be our next uh, Twitch live stream. will be next Tuesday morning, like usual, uh, trying to keep with a very consistent schedule to make it easier. So that'll be our next Twitch live stream. And then let me give you the extra credit question for this week. So you can get those two points of extra credit for joining me. So the extra credit for this week is related to bisexuality, which is one of our topics for the week. So what are the three types of bisexuality described in the book and lecture? I want you to name and define them. So name and define or describe what they are that will hopefully help you remember. So again, what are the three types of bisexuality described in the textbook, and then I also go over them in the lecture video, name and define them. When you are ready, you can go to Canvas, and then you'll click on Twitch Extra Credit number six right here. And then up here at the top, Start Assignment. And then you can type your response down here in the box. And when you're done and happy with your response, hit Submit. Um, and you can do this anytime before Sunday night at 11.59 p.m. to get those two points of extra credit. The other thing, um, as I've told you all a few times, uh, I grade these throughout the week. So if for some reason you get it wrong, um, I might uh, give you feedback and say you're welcome to try again. So it doesn't hurt to answer this earlier in the week. And then uh, if you do get it wrong, you have that chance to, to try it again. So um, those are the big things for this week. Read chapter 11 in um, the textbook right uh look over the slides and watch the lecture video don't forget discussion number six where you get to watch those different videos and kind of think about uh, where you think uh, what you think orientation starts off as, as a choice or born that way and then you also have um, the twitch extra credit number six available to you through sunday so um kind of a usual week of the reading the lecture the discussion and the extra credit next week we do have our first homework assignment uh, so I will talk about that next week. It might, um, our stream might be just a little bit longer next week as I go over that. Uh, but next week we'll look at uh, the homework assignment that you have. Um, you have two of these throughout the semester and the first one comes next week. So something to uh, be thinking about as we get to next week. If you wanted to look at that um, early, I believe that you can look at it uh, through the assignments. There's also there's a assignment menu posted, but um, either way, I will go over that for you next week so that you know what to expect and what you need to do. So um, are there any other, any other questions? Let me put that in here. Other questions or comments? Questions, comments, thoughts, anything at all before, uh, before we call it? A day we're kind of officially done if you don't have any questions or anything you're welcome to to head out and if you do I will be here for a little bit and I'm happy to answer them for you uh, again I hope you all have a wonderful week and that you're hanging in there think of me um, at the football game right thank you so much I cannot wait I really hope I get to go 
I keep checking for tickets. I haven't purchased them yet, but uh, I will very soon. You know, I'm just waiting for the perfect ones. But yes, uh, thank you so much. Have a wonderful week. I hope you're all hanging in there. Uh, I miss being able to see all your faces, so I hope you're doing well, taking care of yourselves, and uh, have a wonderful week and weekend. And I will hopefully see you next Tuesday morning uh, for our next Twitch live stream. Thank you all. I'm going to minimize my video, but I will hang out if you do have any other any other questions? No cats anywhere today. My cats are all like, they're all missing. I don't know where they're at. I was going to drag a cat over here for you, but, um, but they're all hiding from me. So maybe, maybe next week we'll see, but have a wonderful week, everyone. Um, and if you think of any other questions, I am still, I'm definitely still here. For sure. I, I will go check that in a few minutes here and then get back to you. Oh no, except for the soft pretzels. Okay, so I'll get nothing but pretzels and uh, soda. <laughs> uh, something to drink, right? Uh, yeah, I've heard that the food was awful. Everyone, um, everyone has told me that as well, that the food was really, really bad. So um, definitely we'll be looking into eating before, <laughs> before the game. And then having pretzels, I like that. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know where Binks is. He took off. Binks and Rolly are usually hanging around, but uh, it's like they, they, they left me today. So hopefully next week we'll cross our fingers, cowbells. We'll cross our fingers. <laughs> for sure. I heard they're filming the second one right now, right? The second Hocus Pocus that it's being, it's being filmed. Uh, it'll be hard to live up to the first one, but definitely would be fun to watch, I think. Yeah, I think they're in the middle of production of it right now, that they're they're still filming it, right? All right, everyone, if you think of any other questions, please feel free to email me. I'm definitely here, and uh, have a wonderful week, and I will see you next Tuesday.